We got a lot to get into today, including the announcement today by Dana White that UFC 261 will be taking place at the Vice Star Memorial Arena in Jacksonville, Florida. It will be indoors. There will be no restrictions on attendance. He's just full bore returning UFC. Can't wait. Can't wait three months for it to be safe. For any, you know, it was it was funny because. It was like <laughs> there were people who were just telling me like, oh, you know, I mean, and that was even the narrative. I mean, like UFC did do a better job when it came to testing and policing of anybody. But, you know, I mean, Dana still would never wear a mask. Um, you know, even on the even on the plane when there's, you know, his private plane when there's only a few people like they would wear masks and he wouldn't. And, you know, and there were people who were you know obviously upset about that and um i mean to show his power i I remember in nevada at first um the commission you know ruled that you know to be in that you know unless you were you know a competitor um you know or announcer something like that you know you have to wear a mask and at first dana didn't come out because he would have had to wear a mask but because he's dana they decided to let him come out. So he's like the only one without a mask, you know, at, at ringside at all these shows. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's like you can, you can wait two months, you know, you can wait for the shots, but, and, you know, he's not, um, you know, for whatever anyone wants to say about Vince or, or anybody, I mean, Vince, Vince is going to run with a lot of people and, and, uh, they, you know, obviously they pulled all tickets because tickets were supposed to go and sell tomorrow morning. And they pulled all ticket sales because they're going to make a change. I don't know if that means less or more. Um, <laughs> I don't know which one it means. But it's still outdoors. And outdoors is a lot safer. I don't know. Um, you know, I mean, the, the Texas Rangers are going to do uh, outdoors uh, with a full stadium. And it's already sold out. Uh, so that's similar to what, uh, you know, um, Dan, uh, Vince may end up doing. But outdoors in a full stadium and indoors with a full stadium are two entirely different things. I mean, we've seen enough to know that, that there's a, a huge difference and um, it's completely irresponsible, but um, you know, Florida, you can do whatever you want in Florida. I mean, that's the reality. So Vince can Vince, like people were asking me like, you know, what's Vince allowed to do? And it's like, the answer is and Vince is allowed to do anything he wants to do. And, and also today made today also, was a perfect day for for Dana to make that announcement, given that the you know the outbreak in NXT. So the timing of that was was you know unique. It was pretty pretty crazy. So uh, they got a loaded show. It's going to be Jorge Masvidal, uh, who was dominated by Kamara Usman the last time they fought, five rounds. I think uh, I think. As I recall, I think Usman won every round, but he completely dominated the fight. And Masvidal is getting a rematch. He has not fought since. Uh, Usman's fought once since, but Masvidal has not fought since. And the reason, I mean, part of it is Usman asked for a rematch because he wants to beat him again because he actually doesn't like him. Um, and the other reason is is because, you know, Usman, I mean, uh, Masvidal's a big draw, and the last fight did over a million buys. So, um that circumvents, you know, anything else when you can rematch, when the champion wants to rematch a guy that he did a million buys with on the first show. And that may also be why Usman wants, wants uh, Masvidal also, because he's probably confident that he can beat him because he pretty handily beat him the first time. And he, he got a huge payday, and he's fixing to probably get a similarly huge payday. They also announced, um, they've already, they had already announced, um, Zhang Wele and Rose Namajunas for the strawweight title, and they're also going to have Valentina Shevchenko and Jessica Andrade. So it's three championship fights in Jacksonville. They'll probably pack the building, uh, fifteen thousand seats. But uh, yeah, April's a little early. April's very irresponsible, but I wouldn't. I you know nobody should be surprised uh, because as I said, I don't know how many times in the last year, but I know I just said it on the, the other day. Um, the pandemic is the magnifying glass on the true personalities and the true people that you see when it comes to decision making. 
Um, sometimes, you know, in a non-pandemic, they may be able to hide, but the magnifying glass uh, will show you who is good and who is bad in a huge way to where you can't really ignore. And Dana, you know, and this is not the first time Dana's proven it. I mean, Dana already proved it many times in the last year, but he's proving it again. Um, it's so that's the story. So um, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I'm, you know, that's about it. Um, you know, we'll see what Vince does. Um, if Vince is going to go for the full stadium or um, the plan was 45,000 seats. Um, but that changed, obviously, because they didn't put tickets on sale. So I don't know. Well, what I have a like. theory about this. Yes. My theory as to why they didn't put tickets on sale is he suddenly realized, well, we haven't announced what's the main event for each night. What's the card for each day? Because normally you sell tickets to WrestleMania and everyone just buys their tickets with nothing announced because if you go, you're going to see everything. Well, now you've got two nights, and unlike last year, they're actually selling tickets. Right. And so, I mean, why else would they have bothered to announce that it's going to be Drew McIntyre versus Bobby Lashley tonight when they have a pay-per-view on Sunday where Drew is supposed to be facing Sheamus? You, you pretty much made that an irrelevant match. You've already announced he was getting well, the all, title shot it's, at Lashley. It's, 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 it's already relevant. I, I do, you know, I do think that the reason that they announced Lashley and Drew was because, um, but they were going to announce that anyway if, if tickets went on sale tomorrow. I mean, I, th I think that that is the reason it was announced tonight was because tickets were going on sale tomorrow and they yeah, but they, they have the not announced matches. what day each main event. Let's say you're a huge fan of Drew McIntyre and you can only afford one night. Tickets yeah. go on sale tomorrow. What what show do you buy? If if we yeah, don't, yeah, know don't know what's on each day, I think that he felt. Well, Jesus, I mean, well, we'll, if we'll this find is going to prevent they... something, then, you know, what if we don't sell out instantly because maybe people aren't sure what they're going to get on each day? Um, that's a question, um, but it's WrestleMania. But, you know, I mean, look, if they announce, if they announce, um, I mean, they're going to put tickets on sale probably within a week or two. You know, I mean, I think they're going to say they're going to make the announcement. Um, whatever it was, the situation, they pulled the stuff earlier today. So it was not like this was something that was decided even like Sunday. It was decided today. Or maybe it was maybe Sunday. It was decided Sunday and they pulled today. But whatever it was, I mean, it wasn't like it put it away. It wasn't decided Saturday. Um, so whatever it was, it was something that just happened. And um, yeah, they may, but they didn't, they didn't do that tonight either. They didn't tell you which night is on. Was, is, I know is, because it, tickets aren't going on sale tomorrow. But I we'll think I think when Fast Lane is over, they will start to announce what's on which night. And once they have a few matches announced for each night, the big matches, then they'll put the tickets on sale. Could be. But that was obviously not the plan as late as Saturday. I mean, okay, so the, the only other option would be if suddenly they're going to sell significantly fewer tickets. Or, or significantly more. Well, it doesn't matter if you're selling more because you just put tickets on sale tomorrow. And if they all sell out... Then you announce a sellout, and then you put more tickets on sale next week. You know what I'm saying? So uh, there's no reason to not put tickets on sale tomorrow if you're planning to sell more tickets. It would only be if you're planning to sell fewer than we're all ready to go. But I, I don't know why they would suddenly be selling fewer tickets. That doesn't make any sense either. Well, oh, well actually, it does. There was a big COVID out outbreak that they found out about on Friday and Saturday. Well, yeah, but I mean, unless they so, so suddenly it, decided, I only want 5,000 people in the building. Well, it could be five. I find that hard to believe. But, but you know, maybe, he, maybe he'll be more cautious. Now, I, I, I actually don't believe that, but, you know, I mean, I, I mean, sometimes Vince proves you're wrong. I mean, like, I never, like, we'll put it this way, like, I never, unless it's proven to me, assume Vince is going to do anything responsible at that level either. So I always so so I'm never disappointed. I mean I'm always expecting it, and I expect that again. I don't expect he's going to sell less tickets, even though his company just had an outbreak, you know. So, um, but but it it did you know the 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 change in philosophy and the outbreak came at the exact same time. It doesn't so so there is a possibility that one has to do with the other. It's probably not um, because to say that I would. I mean, I mean, we'll know, we'll know. I mean, like if they if they put like twenty two thousand tickets on sale instead of um, forty five thousand, then we'll know, and it probably is the reason. But you know, it all come out in the wash. We're going to know in a few days either ways, so whatever it is. So, uh, whatever you know, we'll find out. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got twelve thousand episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, wrestlingobserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. 
the 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.